Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'm trying to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning and that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's quickly start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get. Got the white pieces here. I play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Bishop comes out on f4. Can play pawn or we can play knight. I'll play pawn to e3 first. And then knight comes out on f3 pawn to c3 creating a pyramid in the center always helpful and then when the opponent offers bishop exchange i prefer bringing the bishop back so if he takes now that loses the control of the h file and i can attack better now he doesn't take so one option here is to take the knight the knight here is very active and controls a lot of stuff. Also, if now knight captures, there's a fork that the opponent can fell into, so fall into, sorry. Um, so here, here I can proceed with my bishop, attacking his bishop. He has to take, he does. I take back, and now knight comes in. He can still go ahead with the other knight now and probably take in the next move if he doesn't do anything fancy there he takes the bishop that's even better i would say i can take his knight first because his queen is under attack yep he had to take that and now i can take on the knight opening up the h file that's mate in one if he doesn't see and he doesn't see see that's what i was telling that london system is pretty active and dynamic opening that's what happens in the game uh, there was nothing much in this. I think we can play one more and see how it goes. Yeah. Let's have a rematch. Or, oh, the opponent left. So we'll have a new opponent. Quickly winning that one with the London system. Just having accurate setup in the opening helps you win matches. Let's see how this one goes. We can play a few moves here. We'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6 and now d5. The most challenging line the, is the advanced variation where the pawn advances which he does otherwise he can exchange or develop the knight which is the main variation so now i can develop my light square bishop first on f5 probably will offer bishop exchange yep that's what he's doing he knows the theoretical lines i'll bring the bishop back generally black takes the bishop here i don't go for that line because i want him to capture rather okay i can pin his knight that's one option but yeah let's let's play more solid developing the knight uh, and then i can play the pawn forward I can bring the bishop now if he wants to okay he doesn't i can force him to take the bishop now by moving the pawn forward and looks the right option as well as it's a forced take or he goes back he goes back and loses the control further. That's even nice. We can plant our bishop in between. All this is going to be solid. Attacking the king. Yep, his structure is good there now. I can probably play pawn to a5 just in case required. He's going with the knight now, attacking my bishop. After he takes, that's going to be a bit bad, so I should bring it back. Because my pawn to get spoiled if he takes. Sorry. I'm going bad with the arrows there. At least not with the game so far. Okay. Let's take the knight. Knight over here and then attacking the bishop is a good option. I can take here. I can take. Yep. Let's take. And after he takes... We develop the bishop as well with the tempo, attacking the knight. 
did he just lose his queen now? The Karu can defense doing it this time. And he takes with the rook there. Didn't take with the knight as well. Otherwise, his key could have saved his knight. He's asking trouble, so let me trouble him. Okay, let's go in with the knight or let's just defend this pawn for now. Let's defend it. Why oh, give away a pawn as well? He loves the queen. So that's why the bishop was pretty good there. Advantages of bishop. Now I have a good maneuver here. A knight can come back and then I can castle. That would be easy. Or I can go ahead as well, but then there's no follow-up from there. So yeah, let's get back. Pretty solid. Let's play solid and win this. Pawn forward. Take with the knight. Go ahead and check. Is another plan there. But first, I think I should castle and then do that. Time is enough, I think. Okay, it's open stone. Yeah. Goes back with the bishop. He's probably playing pawn forward and then attacking the knight sometime. That's too far. Let's castle first. Okay. Knight is going to hop in here, maybe, and then try to take. I'll play h6 first, removing that option from him. He still can counter attack with a lot of pawn moves, which he's not doing as of now. Okay, let's save the rook first because we're planning to move the knight now in the next move. Okay, does he want to give away his bishop now? I'm okay taking it. Goes back. We have got another knight as well, so nothing to be bothered. Uh, I think I should release some pressure here. Uh, but then his bishop comes in and my rook is trapped, so let's go with the knight. Can go in with the queen as well sometime if the knight moves from here. Just trying to find better places for my pieces. Knight over here. He can take with the bishop if he wants. Or he doesn't. His knight is annoying there, otherwise, and do some nice stuff over there. Um, let's connect both the knights. See what he's trying to do. Which pawn he plays forward. Attacks my knight. I can go back. That's fine. Just trying to play as solid as possible there. Okay, now this knight can again attack. He goes back. I'll just maneuver my knight better now and go on for the attack he's giving away the pawn there uh, nah, I don't want the pawn I want your bishop where do you take your bishop next move I take a pawn okay give away your bishop that's fine because now I have more control on the game I go here, attacking your pawn. You can take this pawn there and defend for the time being. He doesn't. Attacks my rook instead. Let's do a rook lift. That's going to be of no use after I take... I have a nasty pawn too, which can proceed. Just saying. And let's get an ahead with the knight as well. Knight goes to b8 next, attacking the pawn, then we can take. 
as simple as that why did he give the bishop a free and that's the highlight of this game he's giving things for free and he resigns so yeah a couple of quick games that we ended up with uh, how about next yeah let's play one more let's see uh, let's analyze this game once and then we can play one more there was there something that should be bothered about it was 37 move game and still i think there was no point that black was in trouble and that was pretty good and smooth c65 the Kalkan defense and that's how you play the advanced variation as i said generally the idea is to capture on the bishop uh, because otherwise this bishop is not much useful but i generally bring it back on g6 and the idea is always that that if the opponent captures i get to open up my h file and then i will attack in this game from here on but yes if opponent plays the move pawn to e6 you have to be a bit careful there because if you try to play the pawn forward you are inviting trouble because now once queen comes in um, there can be some threats very soon happening the queen can root in and give a checkmate as well as quick as that if you're not careful so yeah you have to be pretty much aware of what what you're trying to achieve in the game so rather i played pawn back uh, bishop back he loves his f4 now pushing the pawn forward i played e6 solid now he plays knight to f3 i develop the knight he castles stand moves from white and i went for c5 here so that if he now takes i take back with the bishop and that's a check as well so bishop gets it up with the tempo opponent saw that and got his bishop on e4 to protect and now he can is ready to take so i play the pawn forward rather kicking his bishop away now if he wants to take which he has been denying all the time uh that can be again nasty because i take back with the h pawn so rather opponent thought of going back with his bishop i don't know why the evaluation is not working but yeah let's continue with our analysis whatever i can probably explain as per the best of my knowledge now bishop comes to e4 uh, always a good diagonal to take control of towards the king and i now move a5 just to prevent him from playing some moves like if he plays next uh, to break the pawn chain say b3 i can play uh, b5 as well he develops the knight i bring the bishop back i because i don't want to lose my knight bishop there because in the game if he takes um sorry yeah if he now takes whose move is that okay max moves suppose I, I would have played something else and he takes on the knight and that's troublesome because after i take he can just bring his knight back and i'm losing out on either of the pawns for sure if i defend this uh, he can probably take this so that's going to be bad and he has got big center space bishop pair which is uh, centralized as well so that can go haywire for the for me as early as it it looks like so i've got the bishop backwards he plays a4 passive i would say and then i go ahead with the knight development he doesn't bother where my knight is going he's just pushing on the pawns thinking that if i do n percent here he can probably take with the knight and he's pretty good uh, but instead i took on the b pawn after he takes i get an extra pawn there with the bishop and the bishop develops with the tempo and here he misses his queen he plays his queen on b1 even if say he doesn't lose his queen and probably play rook there then also it's being attacked so the bishop angle is pretty much uh, annoying at times that's why i try to preserve this bishop as long as possible and if queen goes here we can still take on the knight he takes back so we are pretty good here and we can just jump in with the knight uh, and probably the opponent has to move away his bishop here so we are in a good position we can probably you know, we can't go there but probably rook to c8 is also good because we are planning to uh, make the next move which is pawn to c3 and we are proceeding with the pawn and once the queen or uh, the bishop moves away from here you can probably think of capturing the pawn as well yes the knight is there but we can also have a couple of attackers by bringing our queen uh, to b6 so yeah that can be nasty we can go for queen exchange as well once the pawn is moved forward and if he tries to save queen he can lose on the on the bishop as well so and you can castle any time on the board you don't need to castle as early as what we did 
So yeah, things can go pretty much good either ways. And yeah, that's a solid opening. We played one with white, the London system. We played one with black, the Karapan defense, and both were perfectly fine, uh, at least this time. Yeah, so let's quickly play one more game and see. There's no harm in trying more. Winning or losing is separate. We are trying to learn. We should adopt some good learning practices so that the process is right and we gain something out of this. So, okay, we got the white pieces. Again, we'll try to play the London system. We'll play with d4, bishop on f4. What the open does, knight to f6, I'll play e3, develop the knight on f3. He offers bishop exchange and again, same thing. We'll bring it back if he wants to take, he does. That's perfectly fine. H file is opened up. Let's put the bishop on d3. Can probably get the knight now. He doesn't. Uh, I can pin the knight, at least for the time being. That's one way of creating pressure. Okay, takes the pawn. Fair enough. I go on with the knight. Then I will lose the pawn there for sure. Can I take on the pawn with the queen? I don't mind it. Let's take with the queen. Planning to hop in with the knight. Next move to e5. Good controlling square for the knight in the learning system setup. This can again go haywire too early. If queen to a5, then knight to c3 that defends the bishop as well so nothing to be bothered about okay chooses to castle uh, removing the pin from the knight i am pretty much okay taking that knight but let's save the bishop let's save our pieces keep them on the board as long as possible and create pressure Knight can hop in on over here as well. He's offering queen exchange. And if I don't, I'm losing out on b-pawn probably. Um, if I bring back the queen, then queen here probably will lead to some trouble later on. Let's exchange. Mm, let's exchange or not. Queen here. Can we do some magic? The Greeks gift. Yes, we can. We can sank this bishop now in the next move. If he's not careful. The Greek god gift. Sacking the bishop for the pawn. Opening up files. He has to be precise here and play pawn to g6. That's what he does. Now we can play the pawn forward and save it. So that's again well played by the opponent. I can probably hop in with the knight as well in the next move. That attacks the pawn as well. But then if he plays a5, what is the fall of? Maybe pawn to g4. That will help or not. I'm not sure. Let's go in with the knight and defend. Developing and defending both objectives made fine okay he's behind the rook that's it nothing else is being impacted so let's centralize the rook or i can castle no not not castle that's made then if i cast on the king side castling on the queen side is not an option in this game i want to attack from the king side there okay it's proceeding with the pawns and the next move can be a fork if I move the bishop, he's taking on the pawn. So if I play the pawn forward first, then what is he doing? Let's attack his knight. Point is, if he is not careful and takes with the pawn there, it can be troublesome for him. Probably a knight centralized better now. Defends the pawn as well, so a good position, I would say, for the knight. 
on d5. Planning to take on the knight in the next move probably or get the bishop back. Both the options available. This knight can be troublesome otherwise, so I think I should take it. If I take the knight, let's get the bishop back. That's another way of playing. Maybe some sacrifice later on. He can't move the knight because he loses the other knight then. So that's the problem he needs to solve and that's what he does. I can play pawn forward here. That's lo that looks very tempting. He cannot take because I take with the bishop otherwise. Can I take? I should not take. I just should move it forward and kick his knight away from there. Probably read out my queen next. Threatening some attacks. Or play pawn forward as well. How's this? As so if he then takes, I can take on the rook. That would be made. Yeah, that's another idea. Knight goes back. Let's go ahead with our plan. Can he do that mistake? He can do. He's a human after all. If he doesn't, I can capture too. I'm okay capturing. Time-wise, we are okay. We are attacking. His queen is pretty much useless. Uh, he hasn't developed a couple of his pieces already. Till now, sorry. Not already. Okay, let's take on the pawn. Is there some threat of a check? If check, I need to save my bishop at least. Okay, he goes there. I can proceed the pawn forward. Just close the situation as much as possible. He goes there. And now comes my queen on an active square, preparing to go here or take the knight. Both the knights are here. Uh, it's, it's a deadly situation to be in. Let's see if he finds a good move. Probably he does. We can still go here. Threatening mate in one. Threatening to take on the knight. That's a very solid London system setup that's played. I think it's winning. He saves with the knight. But we can take on this knight. And after whatever he does now, probably we are winning. He can do one thing, he can give a check, I take, he takes the queen, I take back with the pawn, that's a savior there, let's see if he's able to find that, that's temporary savior, oh, he doesn't find the exact move, but that's okay to begin with, I can probably attack his rook now, oh this is a deadly attack. Tough one to break for the opponent. I have played him a couple of times already and I have got the better of him both the times. It's actually good. Take on the rook there. He takes. What do we do next? Do we need to do something? I don't, I'm not sure. Let's get queen back. So that there's no threat of losing the queen. His pieces are pretty inactive still. No need to do anything here. Just play solid. We're winning on time as well. Position is good. The opponent himself will do some mistake. If he survives. Okay. What's his plan? I don't see a plan. Can I play pawn forward? Uh, not required. Let's play a rook. Okay, let's still play rook. 
if he goes for some capture there pawn was hanging but then okay defense is knight that's why he still play rook and that's over didn't need to do anything <laughs> he, he was losing anyways so yeah third game on the trot that we have won now is going actually nice while recording so i'll definitely play one more here and see how it goes let's analyze quickly how the game went what were the tricky lines uh pawn to e3 playing solid london system setup knight to f3 offers bishop exchange we should take generally what computer suggest but i bring it back on g3 he takes i take back h file gets opened up for the attack he develops knight to f3 sorry knight to d7 there but let's say knight f3 okay then bishop comes on d3 he plays the aggressive c5 i can go for the capture but i rather went with for pinning the knight yes I, as i was mentioning he can do this but then i can save with the knight what's the follow-up oh the knight can come in that's one way but yeah that at max i will spoil my pawn structure there what if how's how bad is queen over here computer is saying that's okay but what if he plays the pawn forward then i have to go back in this case he can probably capture and then i also take he has to take back i can oh this is nice i have to just move my queen up so that there's a pin and he cannot take anything so he cannot move the knight but just castle maybe and if he castles i can take with the queen if he takes that's a that's kind of an end game that will go on yes he can probably attack the pawn there but i can save as well so yeah it can go in on to some some kind of an end game there but rather he uh, i chose to take on this pawn with the pawn and he plays he castles after i bring the bishop back he offers queen exchange computer says thing you are ahead in the game if you take i denied that uh, attacking on the h7 he found the good move i would say g6 was nice i played b3 there gives a check and i just play knight to d2 he comes in to attack my rook there i bring the rook on d1 the idea was to save the knight uh so that just in case i have to castle but i was not never willing to castle because uh rook and queen are aligned here i just want to remove the defender instead so i got the rook on d1 the opponent plays e5 here which is a bad move and i played bishop attacking the knight uh his both the knights are connected he cannot move this knight otherwise it's mate so he plays pawn forward first on e4 i get the knight and then he plays finally h5 again finding the right move getting my bishop backwards for a sacrifice later on in the game he plays king to g7 i respond with g4 aggressive pawn move pawn moves can be aggressive <laughs> that's one example because i'm ready to take on the pawn next okay he then proceeds with his rook i played pawn forward here just trying to gain some more space and push his knight backwards and then i played g4 and he cannot take i take he has to take with the pawn only or he cannot take so he doesn't take which is even bad what was the best move for him here go back with the knight that's really tricky to be found i would say that 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 cannot strike here in the situation he was in so he tried to just get better of movement of his knights there probably thinking to exchange them uh, and release some pressure because this knight also is in the vicinity of the king and can give a check anytime so i played pawn forward here uh what was the best move otherwise getting the queen there which i did later on in the next move yes queen to f4 and then yes the right move queen to f6 finding the best moves is always nice let's see defense with the knight uh, that was otherwise made in one on g7 i take with the knight as i was expecting he can do this but he doesn't oh i could have sacked my queen queen sacrifices that's mate and one yep i didn't see that but yeah why to why to sacrifice stuff 
when when you can just play properly and defeat the opponent just bury him with all the pressure <laughs> that's what i did take on took on that rook as well just went back with my queen just playing around with my pieces there nothing to be bothered about you can take a pawn there but that's it uh, my king is pretty secure there between the pieces yeah, that's a good castle i would say in the center that's defending everything so yeah we were pretty good and that uh, left with them with no choice and time went off um, saving him from further embarrassment i would say <laughs> because it was third time that he was playing but yeah never mind he's a good player better high rated than me as well uh, so last few games has been good today yeah I, I think i should play one more and then see how it goes let's play one more and see white or black what we get black have we got we can play the the karo khan again c6 d5 i defeated jonathan strance with the karo khan defense he was teaching that day on twitch and youtube he, uh, youtube he put it up later on he was teaching the karo khan defense to everyone how to defeat the karo khan sorry uh, with the for the two nights opening and I was watching that live stream and challenged him for a match and he responded and it was good fun have playing a match with him and luckily it went in my favor surprisingly i was just willing to just play with him not not trying to do anything fancy over there but i i, I won there surprisingly uh, that's how it has been because i've been playing the karukan defense for long now so i think i've developed some decent enough moves uh, with the karukan so finding pieces uh, the right squares is important in any kind of an opening so far it has been good uh, as we see today also uh, and i'm playing some games it has been going good okay what's the move here i think i should pin the knight i'll put that link uh, of the jonathan strand's game as well in the description that you can watch and have fun with uh, can i take on this knight uh, doesn't look so i should just go with my other knight development of course i can't develop nine knight here otherwise pawn forward makes it hard for me to defend the position i can take the pawn here no doubt and i should take the knight first that's going to be one of the defenders of the pawn Let's see what he does. He cannot move the knight. He's attacking. Um, okay. If he takes, I can take back with the bishop. That's fine. Have to save my knight. If he takes, say, if he takes the knight, then I'm gone, right? Yeah. So I need to attack his. the knight is gone already okay things are not looking good so far in this game i should have taken the pawn there some miscalculation mm, have to take the pawn no other option let's see what he takes with casting is available Still okay, let's see. I think he'll take with the bishop mostly. If bishop, what can we do here? I need to safeguard this knight somehow, and I'm not finding the right move. He takes with the queen, that's interesting too. This bishop can come here next and trouble a lot. Let's flip on a6. Takes on, I'll take his knight. 
I think he missed a mate there that was made here. Yep, he did. He did miss. It's okay. Nice for me. He's still crashing me badly. What I can do here is probably just hang around if possible. I'm not sure how long. That's crashing me. If this bishop goes away, can we do something about it? I can take on this pawn next, maybe. Pawns are not problem, as pieces are. Because, yeah, otherwise queen comes here as made because his bishop is standing there. Need to move this bishop away. Let's move the bishop. Moving the bishop is very important to capture this pawn. If he goes back, I'll push the pawn forward again. So probably he'll think of going here and then probably here. No. That's more aggressive. That's way more aggressive. Is there a savior to this? I doubt. That's a deadly attack. Rook here saves it. Yeah, for now. This is not going as expected. Fourth game of today. We'll end up with five probably. I can take, I can't take. Bishop here is annoying. Damn, that's a bad, bad game. I have to save my queen. If I save the queen, I lose anyway. It's a mate. Check with the queen, it's mate. So, yep. Let's, let's not even analyze this. This was too bad. I'll play another game. Hope it ends well. Fifth game of today. 3-1 so far. One bad game with the Karakan. Another Karakan game. Let's see if we can pull this this time. Okay, let's take with pawn or queen. No, not queen. Knight otherwise troubles. Let's spin the knight this time. Play pawn e6. Let's get the knight. Or, or the bishop. Let's get the knight. Centralize the knight sometime. Attack the pawn. Castles. Create a solid battery. Just getting good squares for my pieces so far. That's weakening off of his structure. Knight here can be played, but not much useful. I still have the other knight. You can castle either side of the board. I'm not going to castle on that side, so yeah, that match won't help. Um, let's go ahead with the pawn. I, I like playing aggressive chess here. I have to be a bit careful. I don't have to do some trouble thing here. Let's attack his rook. And then go with the knight. If he takes, I'll take with the pawn takes and I take back the pawn he doesn't I want to take this badly let's do it with the bishop he takes with the pawn yes and now I have my pieces to reroute this knight to more active squares, I can play pawn forward as well. Now I can't. He takes otherwise. 
preventing me from castling. I'll just play pawn forward first to a5, a6, sorry. Bishop goes back. I have to move this knight somewhere so that I can get activity for my bishop backwards. Let's go here. Some point of time, we're planning to move bishop to f5 there and then take with the knight. Knight here or bishop here? That's the only question. Let's let's go with the bishop. Because eventually I want to place my knight here and then take on the, this bishop. That's the plan. But this bishop is annoying there. Okay, he's trying to safeguard his... I'll take this first. He takes... I can still plant my knight here, go back someday, and then prepare to castle if required. Okay, gets the other knight. Well, even I have got another knight, so let's see. I'm taking a bishop if you're not moving it. So he does move. He's listening to me. Okay, let's play the pawn forward. If he takes with the knight, I'm okay. If he doesn't, then, then I'm also okay. I can bring it back. Nothing to be bothered about. I'm giving a free pawn for some activity. Knight back again, then here. Just a lot of knight play happening. Okay, let's go back. Knight comes ahead. I can play the pawn forward, can I? I have to defend this pawn. One way is to... Nah, I don't want to lose my queen. I have to play this forward. He cannot take this pawn. Takes with the pawn. I also take. Takes with the rook. Queen doesn't have a good square, otherwise this was nice. But what is it threatening next? Taking on this maybe. I should castle first. Uh, I should castle. Castling is nice. Okay, despite the folk. Because I also get to attack his rook there. Okay, troubles, troubles, everywhere. Okay, let's go here. Not many options there. He takes on the rook, I take back the knight. Okay, he takes this one. I can also take with the knight. goes down he wants to exchange stuff and why not when you're ahead it's good tactics by the opponent i appreciate that not that i'm here to appreciate stuff but yeah let's move the rook i'm um, the king i'm not sure what to do let's move the queen up have to make some way for the queen. Bishop comes here. I can defend with my knight. That attacks his piece as well. Oh no, that's bad. If I go back, then he takes this. So I have to move the king only. I'll go up. Let's see what he takes. Game isn't over yet, for sure. All it takes is one bad move from the opponent. Bring back. And save some stuff. What does it take now? Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead. 
another check i go back so i think yeah i'm losing this one can i find a perpetual here um for that i need to move my queen and it's not letting me do anything Rook goes down. Queen has to come for the savior. He okay, takes, takes. Just will have to play here with the remaining stuff. Oh, there goes my pawn as well. Can he stalemate me? Can he show that? Does he have got the skill to stalemate? Come on, opponent. Stalemate. Try it once. No, he, he does mate. Okay, anyways, that was five of the day where I won three, lost last two with the Karukan. Something is wrong today with the Karukan. I'm not sure. Where did I lose this game? Let's analyze. I think somewhere here I'm winning 2.4. As I said, exchanging was bad, but still, yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, knight goes back and then he gets starts to develop. Yeah, I had to play the spawn forward. I don't know why I didn't play because later on he got the counterplay for that. Otherwise, yeah, I just had to play the pawn forward so that if he takes that's bad news because when the rook is active he cannot take of course uh, he loses a piece there otherwise he goes back as the best move and i'm still pretty much okay in the position i didn't have to break that uh that was the turning point and yeah probably then downfall only from there couldn't save the game at the end tried to exchange bishop i did manage to do that Got the knight on the right square. Still, it's point five only in the in white's favor. Finding the right knight move as well. Had to exchange queen. I denied. I didn't do that, so that was bad. Gets his rook active, and it's just dominating now. Coming forward, playing pawn was even bad because then he gets to capture. Castle. He gets his knight found the good moves later on and I didn't and that was the whole difference that's, that's losing completely losing here then I tried some tricks but didn't work too good for not too good for 1968 there and eventually I fall completely so yeah uh, I would say was going fine up till then could have converted this as well but i hope there was something to be learned from these games uh play the london system karo khan and let me know how you feel about it how 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 good it's suiting you your gameplay and yeah until next time keep watching and sharing uh, do like the video do subscribe the channel please i request i'm putting on a lot of hard work making these videos on a regular basis and there's no editing as well so this is like this is like a live stream but not happening live I'm just recording live and then posting them on youtube without editing so i hope you like it thank you so much for your time yeah take care bye bye